Hello everyone, this is Orlando from A Collector's Dream. And today I want to look at uh, one of the uh, magazines that has been around in the industry now for uh, over 50 years. And that's the Sports Collector's Digest. And uh, I subscribe to that. I've subscribed uh, for many, many years, on and off. But uh, this is their 50th anniversary edition, so I want to take a look at that a little bit and just kind of share it with you guys. Uh, but before that, I want to go back to my <laughs> card that I bought and I got to keep looking at it. And the reason I want to go back to look at this is because, you know, it, uh, I took a really good look at it with this to see where the coloring had been added. And I did see that it was added along this edge here that's pretty much it it looked like maybe a little bit on that corner there and uh, I don't know if you could see here yeah you can okay but you can see that there is like the edge and then some color added there so that's where the magnification is this is uh, normally they use a uh, 10 time Loop. This is 15 and a half, but you could see the magnification and you could see everything clearly with this. And I looked at the whole card and there's also a measuring thing there. And really you could see everything, you know, the corners and everything perfectly. So, and that's Buck Ewing right fielder. But that's where the color was added, right around there. And you can see it on the side if you look carefully. But other than that, um, you know, the card looks great. So this is a, uh, it also has a black light, so you can see where the color is added on the black light, but it's tough to see it on, on here, on the video. But just wanted to show you, and, and when PSA or SGC, when they grade cards like this or any card, they use a 10 time. This is a 50, 11 and a half, so it's a little bit more. So you can see a lot of the details, and it's tough to see it here. When you look at the card of the naked eye, you could tell a little bit there, but that's why, that's how they, you could tell. But other than that, the card is great. The picture, everything around there, the color was added just on the black border. So I just wanted to uh, expand a little bit on that. Uh, that the card that I that I shared in my last video and just kind of let you guys see that so I'll let that guy hang out here I let Buck Ewing hang out in the corner here since he was a catcher he'll hang out with the pitcher over here so this is what I wanted to talk about and the uh, Sports Collectors Digest has been around for 50 years now this is the October issue October 1st issue which is there 50th anniversary and um, I am going to show some cards because there are cards of the SCD that came out in the 90s so just some of the stuff I wanted to share with you some articles and stuff because there's some of our uh, great um, <clears throat> YouTubers do write articles in here and do participate in this magazine sometimes so you see them in here and I have some of them marked there and this is the uh, the the publisher here, uh, the editor, Jeff Owen, down here. He is the, uh, the new editor. And, um, you know, anybody wants to reach him, there it is. So, a lot of advertising in this thing. A lot of things for sale here. But this is the one I wanted to show you. This article, our own John Newman. And he writes for this magazine here. There he is. So you can catch him and he writes articles here. And um, you know, some really, really good stuff. And he talks about hobby etiquette, talks about hobby hate, uh, you know, it's okay to pivot, uh, pre-grade your own cards and things like that. So really good stuff. Not going to read the whole thing, but uh, he really talks about pre grading your card before sending them in to save you money. And then you got a lot of advertising in here. 
people selling and selling and selling here. These are mostly dealers. And then they've got different, talk about different price guys. And that's one of the sections in here. So we'll go through that. And then I do like the uh, question and answer. They have usually a uh, question and answer section here. Or this, in this case, they're talking about just the memories of Sports Collectors Digest. And then, you know, of course, Kit Young is always in here, been in here forever. Uh, you got the mile high and all that stuff. So um, just more of the stuff in there. But it's a great magazine. This is one of my favorite sections and where it talks about uh, some good buys. Talks about the top sales. So this is Rod Carew rookie card for a dollar. Somebody was able to pick that card up for a dollar on eBay. So two things, things do slip by. This 10 top, top online auctions. It's got the top online auctions. And it just talks about, uh, you know, things. And uh, it says that somebody got a Rod Carew card for a dollar. And, uh, you know, it talks about all the stuff and, and just a, a lot of different things that were sold on eBay, you know, other Karu uh, rookie for a thousand dollars and so on. So it, it kind of keeps you, you know, as to what's happening in the hobby. See auctions, first Lou Gehrig card, PSA 9, something sold there. So it talks about all this stuff here. And to me, that's an interesting stuff. It talks about the auctions, and that's done by Larry Canal. And some more here. That's on that uh, Lou Gehrig card. And just all, you know, MJ Rarity, you know, all that stuff. It has. So, you know, it's just pretty good uh, magazine to look through. And it tells you all the stuff, a lot of different things that's sold, you know all the way down here and, and it continues on with different things and it talks about the legal drama that's going on between panini and fanatics uh, that goes through this page and then and it continues this is advertising but you know i, I like this and this is, is advertising it's a sponsored content but even though it says sponsored it's an advertisement it's brian brian dwyer of Robert Edward Auction, kind of talking about the history of cards and things like that, see? So it's kind of an article that he wrote, which is great. Talks about his auction and stuff, but talks about cards, so. Nice advertising versus just your regular ad, you know? And then the rest, it talks about different things that uh, fanatics. And then this is what I wanted to show you guys is here. And it talks about the, uh, the magazine, and it's got, it mentions me here. Not really. <laughs> there it is. Not really. But uh, it talks about all of the uh, different uh, covers that they had in their magazine. And uh, all the different things. It talks about uh, Stolman. That was a, uh, a collection what it was here, a collection of John Stallman. He was a publisher, so that's what this is about. Now talking about my collection, it talks about all the heritage stuff here. This is the big heritage auction that just finished. That's where I got this guy at this auction here. Everybody was focused on all these big cards. Tons of big cards that were all there. Look at that. There was a Gemmin 10 Clemente here, a Gemmin 10 Mantle. A lot of big, big cards there. And I picked that up. And the rest, just about that, I wanted to show you. Move on a little bit to this. This is about this guy's collection. And this is the uh, old um, editor, O'Connell, with Mr. Mint. And there's Mr. Mint. And Mr. Mint was the first big hobby, you know, self-promoter. He was one of these guys. I mean, nobody back then had their cards with pictures and things. He had pins. Look, that's a pin of Mr. Mint that he wore himself. 
but this guy was just a riot. He would, he'd be the first one. When you entered the uh, National, his table had to be the first one. That's the, his, he set conditions because he was so uh, popular. He had so much, uh, so much awesome stuff, expensive as hell, but some of the best stuff ever. And then this is what I wanted to share. This is uh, back in these days, in a set of 1998 Fleer Sports Collector's Digest featured SCD covers and tells the story of the publication. And this was in 1998 Fleer. And I remember I had some of those and I was able to find some of these and here they are. So I'm gonna show some cards like I always do. These are the uh, 25th anniversary so now, this is the 50th anniversary. This is their 25th anniversary commemorative set that was done by Fleer. And this is the checklist in the back. And I found some of the cards that I had here. And this is one card where they went weekly. This is their cover. So these are the covers. This was back in 1987. A tremendous growth of the sports collecting hobby in the mid 80s created a need for SED and there was a big need and back then since there was no internet or anything this was one of the hobby um, everything hobby watchdogs and everything that people would go back to look at and um, you know now you know you have other influencers in the hobby uh, this was another one of the cards here. And this was uh, when they returned to a bigger, they used to be big and small. So these are different covers that they had. Here's another one of the covers. And this was a mantle cover. It's got a lot of mantle stuff in there. And an inter interview with, with Mantle, and this was back in 1991, they interviewed Mickey Mantle. Uh, this was their uh, 600th edition back in 1992 and it's got some cool cards there looks like the double headers yep it's the 55 double header cards nice cards I've got the air into that and uh, then a little bit later on Big Hurt, and they put him the Big Heart. And why? Because he was just a loved player. You know, he was, you know, similar to Ken Griffey, uh, not the best player in the era. Uh, you know, like Mickey Mantle, not the best player in the era, but, era, but one of the most loved. And even back then, this was, uh, this was in 96. A record prices reported in auction. A PSA graded card. This is when PSA started big back in 96 and early 90s. And then the last one of those that I have is uh, probably a pretty good one to for Bulls. Uh, for Michael Jordan collectors, it's the Jordan. Com company scrambled to include Jordan in their latest sets, and this was back in 95. So well, that's a pretty neat card there. Michael Jordan, the Bulls uniform. Uh, I'm sure some Jordan uh, collectors may want this card if you didn't know about it. It isn't truly a licensed card, but since it's a magazine, it's their magazine cover, but it has the uh, the Bulls, so it's a, a uniform and everything, and that's the one here, 1995. Return of Jordan. And these were brought to you by Fleer. So um, just wanted to share some cards along with the uh, CD. And uh, pretty much it, you know, just the rest of the stuff here. Just some great articles that they publish here. Uh, this is a, a really good one here. It talks about the 50th anniversary, and that's... 50 years ago, Topps 
came out with the 70, 73 set. And it said one of the most popular sets of the 70s, the 73 set. It's a beautiful set. I got that set and I really like it. I probably need to pull that set back out and show it again. But this set is really, really nice. And it's 50 years ago already. It wasn't a vintage, but it's definitely more than vintage. And it talks about that set, which is so nice. It's got, the, of course, the Schmidt rookie in there. The nice Clemente, the last Clemente card there. And then it's got uh, the uh, all these Babe Ruth, the all-time leaders cards. And uh, I talked about these with uh, Mike Moynihan when we did a uh, an all-star talk. So if you haven't seen that, go back and see it. And some great action shots here. Look at that Pat Corrales. And one of the best cards of Johnny Bench is in that set. And it talks about the values of that with the Schmidt and the Nolan Ryan, which was the most um, expensive in that set. And this is, uh, and then after that, They've got all the card shows, so you can see all the card shows, all of the private signings and all the actual signings and stuff they're having, so just kind of wanted to, these are our card shows from all over the country, so if you wanted to go to Michigan or, or, or Missouri, there's card shows in Missouri, St. Louis, big one on the 21st day, so um, some good stuff. So I wanted to kind of share this, the last one I had marked here to show you was the last page, and that has, uh, they talk about signings too. And at the end, uh, Doug Kostowski talks about it in, in the issues. And then this one is on undefeated quarterback, Bob Greasy, and showing him there signing. Look at that PC signing, wow. So his rookie card, and they always have a, a series on on an autograph play uh, former player there and, and that's about it so and there's some more stuff since I'm a, a big fan of the Dolphins he, this guy got this helmet signed by Greasy looks like he's got all the 72 Dolphins on there so anyway guys I wanted to give you a quick look at the uh, Sports Collectors Digest just to kind of show you uh what it is, if you're not aware of it, it was the, uh, that, this, the Beckett and the Tough Stuff were kind of the place to be, place to look at if you were in the hobby back then in the 90s, uh, in the 80s and 90s and before, well, that's 30, 50 years ago now, 50 years ago, from 1973. So how time flies. Wanted to share that with you. One last look at my uh, Buck Ewing. Everyone have an awesome, awesome day. Thank you so much for watching my videos and commenting. And truly, truly appreciate it. Please like and subscribe if you have not. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. This is Orlando from A Collector's Dream. Thanks for watching.